Shalom. Giving all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakradash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and we will. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing us through doctrine across the four winds of the earth and all truth and in sincerity. I'm Lamar Ariyah from the Mississippi Camp. Lord willing, this will be an edifying lesson. And this lesson is going to be titled Always Playing the Victim. Always Playing the Victim. And talking about the big nose, small head people over there in our land, man. They always playing the victim. Once again, you got them talking about, you know, the 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 anti big nose, anti small heads, you know, and how it's unacceptable for anybody to say anything against them. You know, pretty much soon going to be a crime to say anything negative against the small heads. Like I say, they always playing the victim. As much wickedness, as much malicious shit they have done and continually to do this day, they still want to play the victim. But that's okay. That's all good. Because at the end of the day, your how about see me out shot got your number. OK. You make it fool the people, but you can't fool the heavenly father and his only begotten son. OK. And through the spirit, how about Shimmy me shy? They have put the spirit and enlightened brothers, man, start for our possums and elders on down to see through the bullshit, too, and know who these people are through the spirit, man. OK. We know that they're the nation of Esau. OK. The Edomites. OK. We know that. And their day is coming. Their day is numbered. And judgment is going to come uh, to this people, man. The whole nation. And they're going into slavery, man. And it's going to begin with their their top elites, okay? Who are going to be running off in their space uh, stations, the cliffs or the rocks, you know, any kind of little bunkers they got. And we'll be coming when the Lord uh, deliver us, man. Deliver us from the destruction. We're going to come back down from that fathership as hunters, man. And we're going to seek these fucking people out, okay? And put their ass in uh, feathers of chain. So I'm going to get a, a few scriptures here. I'm going to close it out. All right. This is the book of Genesis chapter 4. All right. Starting at um, verse 9. Let's lock it. His phone slow and everything. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 4, starting at verse, we're going to start at verse 8. And Cain talked with Abel, his brother. And it came to pass, when they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. Okay? The first act of murder. Okay? And the Lord Yahweh said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? So he's lying to the heavenly father and the Lord already knows, man. Okay, but that's why I said the scriptures go to how he's a liar and the father of it. He, he's the first fucker to just really completely lie to the heavenly father, man. Blatantly lie after he had what? He committed the first murder by way of his brother. Okay, killing his own brother. All right. Then, you know, the then the nigga got you know, a little, little slick mouth. Talk about him on my brother's keeper. And he said, what has thou done? The voice of thy brother crieth unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth, which hath opened her mouth and received thy brother's blood from thy hand. So the Lord letting them know, like, shit, you done murdered your brother, man. Your brother's blood is crying out, man. Your brother... Basically, man, Abel was crying out to the Heavenly Father, telling him that, you know, this is my brother done killed me. Okay? Because from that point, Abel, uh, Abel was in the spirit world, man. Verse 12. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond, thou shalt be in the earth. And that's why this nigga, he goes everywhere, man, because he's a fugitive. He's a vagabond. He's all over the earth doing all kind of shit. He's everybody but Esau, right? 
He's 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 Gad. He's the uh, uh, Israelites, right? All together. He he's um, the Arabs. He's every goddamn body, but Esau, because he's constantly trying to hide under the identity of another race of people, man. Even as far as going to change his complete uh, race, man, white. No, use a red man. Okay, use an Edomite. Okay, the Khazars, Amalek. Okay, that's why the Lord said he would have war with Amalek from generation to generation. You those same niggas over there in the, uh, in the Holy Land, man. Doing all kind of wickedness. Okay, but you're going to pay for that, man. Verse 13, and Cain said unto the Lord Yahweh, my punishment is greater than I can bear. And see, now, now, he done he murdered his brother, right? Cain done murdered his brother, lied to the Heavenly Father, but now he the, he, he the one somebody's supposed to have sympathy for. Now he, he's uh, uh, complaining about his punishment. Nigga, you just murdered your brother, man. Now you want some kind of sympathy? Okay. Verse 14, behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth and from thy face shall I be hid and shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth. It shall come to pass that every one that findeth me shall slay me. So he's the victim now. He's worried about what people are going to do to him. It's okay when he's doing shit. It's okay that he murdered his brother. Okay. But now that that uh, uh, the Lord is going to bring a uh, judgment of, of of a very mild punishment on his punk ass. He wants some type of sympathy, man. Verse 15, and the Lord Yahweh said unto him, therefore, whosoever slay Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord Yahweh set a mark upon Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. So, the Lord ordered a a put pretty much put a order of protection heads over this this devil man, okay. And and we hey that's the will of the Lord and we understand this nigga got the mark of Cain which is leprosy okay this nigga you know he that's why you can see his uh his his blood you know saying transparently through his skin okay this man is marked. Okay, and as as the uh, um, degenerate Edomite. Okay, so but like I say, the Lord put that 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 hedge that uh, uh, order of protection over this devil for a particular amount of time. But hey, the Lord is finna take and lift that order of protection from y'all devils, man. Okay, y'all about to start drinking up that cup. The tables are turning, man. So ain't nobody finna feel sympathy for y'all motherfucking devils, man. After all you have done to the nation of Israel, all the shit you've done to the earth, all the things you've done to the animals, the plants, the air, the water, the food, the people. The list fucking goes on and on and on, man. That's why Lord, uh, the scriptures go into how your sins have reached unto the heavens, man. You have done too fucking much. Way too much, man. And none of it has benefited life. It's all have been uh, uh, a, a death sentencing, man. You're a cancer of the earth, man, that's going to be completely removed. Because you serve no purpose when it comes to life. So, okay, go ahead. Keep playing the victim, man. But your judgment is at hand. And there's nothing you can do about it. Because it's the will of the Heavenly Father, man. And it's documented in the book of Obadiah. So, hey, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson. You know, just a quick lesson through the spirit, man. More of a vent, I guess. But, hey, brothers, man, we almost at the end of this thing, man. And Yahweh Shai is getting ready to return. Shit finna get crazy. Shit finna get wild, man. 2024 is finna be another level to, to uh, uh, judgment and wickedness, man. But hey, we just got to continue to have faith. Believe me, how about send me out? Shy, keep pushing and understand that whatever happens, it's the Lord's will, man. So we just got to pray to you. How about send me out? Shy, to give us the spirit to endure, to keep pushing, to keep fighting until that great day that we're delivered, man. Okay? And being up in those chariots, receive those new bodies, 
receive the law, statutes, and commandments, man, our inward parts, man. And that's what we're striving for, okay? To the day we receive those palms, man. So, hey, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson. I want to give all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Ruel. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.